We finally know where the entrance to Toy Story Land is going to be within Disney's Hollywood Studios and also the four rumoured locations of Club 33 over at Walt Disney World. We'll get into it all up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack, this is DSMY Newscast, go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and first of all, over the weekend Walt Disney Imagineering have done their thing again by putting up those infamous blue walls around the area of Toy Story Midway Mania. Now you're probably wondering why Jack are you talking about blue walls? Well, this time around they've actually added additional character graphics and also concept art teasers to the walls themselves. And this is important as what it's telling us here is that this is the official location of where the entrance to Toy Story Land is going to be. As there were rumours that the entrance was going to be between Toy Story Midway Mania and One Man's Dream and this only adds more fuel to the fire. Now, they have completely covered the Legend of Captain Jack Sparrow show building and, and Toy Story Land will fit together so therefore there'll be an entrance from Star Wars Land into Toy Story Land and vice versa. Toy Story Land is expected to open in late 2018 if not early 2019 which coincides with the opening of Toy Story 4 which comes out in the summer of 2019. Now sticking with Walt Disney World it has been reported that the exclusive Disneyland Club 33 restaurant is going to be coming to all four of the Disney World theme parks later this year. But, and there's a big but, it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting entirely new restaurants as part of this Club 33 rollout. Instead, they're going to reassign certain sections of the existing restaurants around each one of the parks and repurpose them into private bar experiences in each one of these parks. And these locations are rumored to be Skipper Canteen over at Magic Kingdom, American Adventure, in the US Pavilion at Epcot, or maybe the Spice Road Table over in the Moroccan Pavilion. The former Catwalk Bar at Disney's Hollywood Studios will be expanded with balcony access for firework shows, and Tiffin's or the Nomad Lounge at Animal Kingdom will host Club 33. Now with the plan to have these restaurants have a sectioned off area, it really does seem like Disney have a half formed idea here, as they've missed a major opportunity to do something really new and exciting, like a completely thematic Tower of Terror bar or a haunted mansion watering hole. And this way they could use Club 33 to introduce a premium service for guests to pay for this one experience. However, it's over to you Waltoners, tell me in the comment section down below whether you would pay for an exclusive Club 33 membership or whether you think that Disney are going one step too far by introducing this two-tiered level of different dining and bar experiences around Walt Disney World. And lastly, we're going to be going over to Disneyland as this upcoming Friday, the 27th of May, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is going to be opening to the public. And we have some details about the cast member previews that have already been taking place at the attraction. And the leaked details say that there is an incredible Rocket Raccoon audio animatronic within the attraction that really steals the show. And now the ride is more intense than that of Tower of Terror, mainly due to the fact that they have now got randomised drop sequences. However, just before I went live with this video, Disney released an all new teaser promo starring Benicio Del Toro talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction, where they give us an all new glimpse at the queue area for the Collector's Fortress. And it really does seem like Disney have worked their magic once again as the Imagineers have crammed all sorts of insider jokes into the Collector's Fortress, from Marvel Easter eggs, to even a bell hops cap from the former Tower of Terror attraction. But the real standout here is that they've even featured an eerily accurate animatronic of Cosmo the Dog, who was seen in the very first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. One thing that Tower of Terror was great at though, was the immersive thematic atmosphere. 
Well, it seems that this Q area will have even more context, as with the upcoming Marvel movies coming out over the next five years, more and more of these so-called artifacts will make more sense. Oh, and considering that the opening event is on May 27th, we've got some footage of the lighting test that could be just for the opening event itself, but it could be that this is permanent projections that we're seeing onto the Collector's Fortress to help bring it to life during the night time. And that's it for today, guys. Go ahead and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on Thursday where we're more than likely going to be talking about Pandora, the World Avatar, and maybe more Guardians of the Galaxy. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.